In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to create a custom brush and add some starburst-like effects to your lights. Hi everyone, welcome to another Photoshop demo from evervisions.com. My name is Joe Petralia. Um, today we're going to look at how you can create the starburst brush preset and use it on an image like this where you wanted to add some nice cool starburst effects over top of your lights. You could get this type of effect in camera using a small aperture like f22 or even f32, but you're going to introduce potentially some lens diffraction which will uh, add some, uh, will decrease the sharpness in your photo. Uh, so maybe try an, an aperture like f11 and uh, you might get better sharpness between foreground and background and then you can come in later in Photoshop and add the starbursts. So let's see how we create this brush preset and apply it to this image. So file, new, and let's go with 1000 by 1000 pixels and hit OK. And zoom in a little bit, Control plus, and let's create a new layer. And let's grab our B for brush tool and make sure we have like a small brush size, maybe something like 25 should work. Hit enter. Now we can grab our pen tool, P for pen, click, hold shift and click again and then right click on your path and hit stroke path and make sure brush is selected make sure simulate pressure is selected and hit ok actually we need to make it sure that uh, black is in our foreground so if it wasn't you can hit D for your default and it should put black in the foreground if, if you already had that you can toggle back and forth with X so let's try that again right click and stroke path hit OK and there we go we can hit enter and now we can hit uh, uh, control or command T and we can adjust the thickness of this to our liking maybe something like this will work, work OK Hit enter when you're done with that let's hit V just to get our move tool now let's hit command J let's hit command T and hold shift and grab your corner handle drag it down so that you have a nice uh, 90 degree uh, line, uh, angle here, hit enter, then select both hitting the, using the shift key, control or command J, control or command T, and again hold the shift and drag that corner handle, hit enter when you're ready. Let's do it again, command J, command T, this one we don't need to hold shift, maybe we just want to eyeball this one, and maybe we want to make this one a little bit larger so you can hold alt and shift on the corner handle and drag out a little bit like that and just make sure you're happy with your rotation hit enter and let's do it one more time command J command T and let's drag this one to right about there hit enter now we can save this as a as a brush and uh, uh, let's go to edit define brush preset let's call this starburst and hit OK now again, you could alter the thickness of these uh, legs or spokes by using a thicker brush in the beginning or using the transform tool after you draw your first one. Uh, and you can play around with the si different sizes of your, your starburst that way. Uh, so let's hop over to our image here. Let's hit B for the brush tool and we can see that our brush is loaded up, our starburst brush right here. Okay. Um, and now we can uh, make this smaller by holding the uh, or tapping the, the bracket uh, left bracket key and we need to create a let's just create a new layer and then we can paint a starburst right over top of our light but this one is black let's make sure it's white hit X and paint it right there like so and now what we can do is uh, we can make this smaller command T and something like like that let's do and we need to colorize this a little bit so what we can do is add a hue saturation adjustment layer all right and uh, we can check uh, make this uh, hold alt and hover between the layers and that'll make it a clipping mask that's it for full screen here um, so now this adjustment layer is only going to be affecting uh, layer 8 here which actually go ahead and change this to a linear dodge blending mode then click back on your hue saturation adjustment twice to bring up the dialog. 
hit colorize and select the hue somewhere in the orange range where I don't know, you know, we have like orange lights here or yellow, uh, sort of reddish orange. So bring that slider somewhere in there. And then when you bring this lightness down, it's going to start altering the color um, of the starburst. And because we changed our blending mode to linear dodge, it's going to help that effect out. You can see uh, if I don't uh, click colorize, it's not going to do anything. So click colorize and adjust your sliders till you get the the, uh, the the color temperature of that starburst that you like. I'm happy with this. And the last thing I want to do is uh, give this a, a Gaussian blur just so it helps maybe blend in a little bit more. And go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's try, uh, let's see if I do, one pixel actually looks pretty good. Let's do like 1.5. See what I think about that. Yeah, I mean, I think one looked okay and hit OK. And now we can group these two layers together. Uh, shift click and hit Command G. And now we can uh, hold Alt and drag a duplicate copy over to our other lights like this. And maybe we want to make this one, we want to change the rotation of this one a little bit, make it a little smaller. We can do that. And then we can drag one over here. And you can always go back and change the um, the lightness of this to make it brighter or darker. See? And you can increase the saturation to help it blend in a little bit more, that kind of thing. And you can apply more of a Gaussian blur to, to the other ones if you want. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Maybe bring this up to like 1.6 or something and hit OK. So there you go. You see how you can get this done. You create a custom brush. You can adjust the thickness of your, your spokes in, in there. Uh, when you're making that custom brush, you can make a couple of different custom brushes and, and play around with them. And then you bring, uh, you paint with your brush uh, over top of your lights. You change your, your, your mo layer blending mode to linear dodge, add a hue saturation layer, um, check colorize, and then tinker around with the the hue, the saturation, and then drop the lightness slider down and then it'll, you'll start to see the color appear or start to match what you're, you're trying to do. And uh, that's, that's how you go about doing that. So uh, thanks for checking out the tutorial. I actually have a pro tutorial available where I show you from start to finish how we come up with this image. And uh, I can give the brush uh, preset in that, uh, that tutorial. So take a look at, at that one on evervisions.com and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.